Wendy's following Uber's surge pricing model. Think that's a good idea? What up, folks? Once again, it's your boy Tim with another ride-sharing video. This is making the rounds because this will affect folks far outside of the scope of ride-sharing. Could, could affect folks nationwide, if not globally, as they continue to spread this. Obviously, I'm not a fan because we know as ride-share drivers, the more control you give the ride-sharing companies over the pricing structure, the less it serves us drivers fact is the lack of transparency has been fucked up for us ride share drivers i do not want to see this get i don't want to see this spread to other industries i just don't favor it because we know surge pricing has been used to manipulate drivers to get you to go to locations expecting to make more money and then they the surge disappears when you get to the damn location well the same type of manipulation is likely to enter the fast food market with Wendy's. Make no mistake about it. Capitalism is about making money. If I can make more money during surge periods, I'm going to try to make sure there's more surge periods. I, I don't like the idea of this. Now, hopefully, because Wendy's is regulated, you know, it's a, it's a business, fast food restaurant is far more regulated than Uber and Lyft. Hopefully somebody will pay attention to this shit a lot quicker than they have in our industry because our industry, not a lot of folks give a damn about the drivers, but everybody enjoys eating. So hopefully they pay closer attention to it, but it would not surprise me one bit if we find out once they start doing this, that someone is suing Wendy's for manipulating how they implement surge pricing. It would not, because this is how you make more money. This really exposes folks to getting ripped off where you can show there's not a lot of customers here, but surge pricing is still going on or some shit like it would not surprise me at all. Or where they drop in one location. So when people go there, they do it to deliberately raise the price. Clearly some bean counter who's responsible for marketing or responsible for sales is going to play games with this. So I'm no fan at all of implementing surge pricing in terms of our food purchases. Now, this could have political aspirations. I mean, under this is happening under, let's say, for instance, Joe Biden is president right now. So under Joe Biden, the cost of Wendy's went up. That's what you're going to hear. And it's, it's hard to say that that's not true, even though it may not have anything to do with President Biden himself. But at the end of the day, we know, unlike in ride sharing, the salaries for fast food workers have went up significantly. So to some degree, I don't like surge pricing, but I'm fine paying an extra dollar or two for a burger if you're going to give the employees a decent wage. And it's easily explainable. We pay a higher salary to our employees, so we have to pass some of that cost on to the customers. That makes sense. But in ride sharing, the cost of a trip has went up for the passengers while the pay to the drivers have went down. That does not make sense. That has happened in our industry. If you're going to pay, if you're going to charge the passengers more, and you have that explanation. Well, drivers make more money now, too, so we have to pass the cost on. Damn it, I can work with that. But in our industry, most drivers that have been driving five years or more, they've taken a significant pay cut. I make it clear. I've been driving since 2014. When I started my market, drivers were making $2.20 per mile. And the trips for passengers we're about a third of the price of a taxi, 2014. Now in my market, 2024, the price of a trip for passengers is comparable to a taxi. And we no longer make 220 a mile. We make between 72 and 75 cents per mile. So the driver is making about 25 to 30% of what they used to make. You're talking a 70% pay cut. And the passengers' fares have damn near doubled. There is no explanation for that. That's exactly the opposite of what Wendy's might be trying to do. At least Wendy's can brag where, drive, where the servers, the burger flippers, 
We used to pay them between seven fifty and nine bucks an hour. Now some of them are making as much as eighteen bucks an hour. It's understandable that you had to raise the price of a burger whether they implement surge pricing or not. That makes sense. In ride sharing, it does not. It does not make sense in ride sharing. And as a result, I'm no fan of surge pricing in any damn market because if they can get away with what Uber and Lyft have gotten away with, it's a lose-lose for every customer involved. Nevertheless, what do you folks think? What do you think Wendy's is trying to do by utilizing surge pricing? Is this the right way to earn extra income? What do you think it'll do for folks who enjoy having fast food occasionally? Obviously, you need to rearrange your damn lunchtime. If, if you normally go to lunch at 12 o'clock and now all of a sudden your meal is two, three, four dollars more at 12 o'clock than it would be if you eat at 1030 or if you eat at two, you're likely to make some changes. It adds up pretty quick. But what do you think? You think they're on to some? You, do you favor this type of pricing structure? Let your boy know in the comments. As always, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button. See you in the next video.